I don't want to put a bullet in you, but if you harm that boy, I'll have to. Just stand where you are. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Oh, Mr. Paladin? Mm. Mm. Oh, hello, hey boy. Bucky. Well, who's this? Oh, this a young gentleman come to see you. Oh. He saw, uh, he come looking for you. He say, very important. Well, now. What's your name, young man? Dusty. You sure you're Mr. Paladin? Yes, I am. Here. Well, what, 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 what's this? A dollar and 61 cents. I want to hire you. <laughs> hire me? Uncle Muncie says you was a gunfighter and worked for money. Uncle Muncie? Yes, sir. Him and Jeter, I live with him. Oh, oh, oh I see. And, uh, well, just what is it you want to hire me for, Dusty? You got to keep him from killing Mr. Big. Mr. Big? He's my dog, and, and Uncle Muncie and Jeter, they're going to shoot him. Oh, well, now, why would they want to shoot him? Well, because they said he's no account and shiftless, but he ain't, Mr. Pallet, and honest he ain't. Uh-huh. Where do you live, Dusty? About 30 miles south in the hills. 30 miles? Well, that's a day's ride. How did you get here? I run off. I took all my money and my mule and I run off. And you came to San Francisco by yourself? Yes, sir. Well, Dusty, you know, um, your uncle may be very worried about you. He ain't worried about nothing. Most likely he'll give me another licking when I go back. No, he couldn't be all that bad. He is so... You ain't gonna help me, are you? You ain't gonna help me none at all. Hey, boy. Yes, sir. Get a room for Dusty and charge it to my account. He's gonna need a good night's sleep before we start back in the morning. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Paladin. Right away. You, you mean you're gonna... You're gonna help Mr. Paladin? That's right, Dusty. I'll ride back with you and we'll talk to them about Mr. Big. Oh, gee, thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, wait a minute. There's, there's just one thing, Dusty. Uh, yes, sir? Here. I want you to keep this dollar and 61 cents. You might need it. Smoking more now, but enjoying it less. Have a real cigarette. Have a camel. So good. Have a camel cigarette. So rich. Have a real cigarette, have a camel. So mild, have a camel cigarette. And here's the reason why. Best tobacco makes the best smoke. Have a camel cigarette. Mm, you can say that again. Best tobacco makes the best smoke. If you're smoking more these days, but enjoying it less, then change to Camel's, the best tasting cigarette of all. Have a Camel! Start to really enjoy smoking again. The ride back to Uncle Muncie's took most of the next day. The sun was setting by the time we saw the little shack Dusty called home. A dog was tied to a nearby tree, and a man was standing in the cluttered yard, watching us ride in. That's Uncle Muncie, Mr. Paladin, and that's Mr. Big over there. Ooh, boy. Where you been, boy? You came to San Francisco to see me, Mr. Muncie. This is Mr. Paladin. Paladin? There ain't no gunfighter gonna stay around here, so you just get... Ah, just hold on a minute. 
Don't you want to know why Dusty came to see me? Don't matter why. He run off, that's all. Missed all his chores. Now get off that mule, boy. You got a lot of work to catch up on. Will you promise me you won't kill Mr. Big? I don't make no bargains with you, young un. Now get off that mule. <laughs> hey, now wait a minute. That'll be just enough for that one, see? I told you to get, Paladin. This boy's my kin, and I'll do with him what I want. You remember that, boy. You hear? I told you that it'd be enough of that. You get your hands off me. Hey! What's going on out here? Jeter, get your rifle. I wouldn't if I were you, Jeter. Who's he? Uh, He's a stinking gunfighter. That's who his name's Paladin. Paladin? Yeah. What's he doing there? Oh, Dusty brung him back, and he's going to get a beating for it he'll never forget. Now, you hear that, boy? You're wrong, Muncie. Dusty? (laughs) Yes, sir? You're coming with me. Where to, Mr. Paladin? Back to San Francisco. You got no right to do that. He's my kin, and I aim to keep him. For what? So you can beat him? Make him do your chores? I don't think so, Muncie. You're not going to have the chance. I'll get you for this, Paladin. Me and Jeter, we'll fix you real good. We better get Mr. Big Dusty. We have to be moving. As soon as the fire dies down, we better turn in. Yes, sir. We'll start for San Francisco in the morning. I'm right sorry about making you so much trouble, Mr. Pell. Oh, don't you worry about it, Dusty. It'll work out. Yes, sir. What about your mother and father, Dusty? Do you remember them? No, sir. I, I was only two when they died, so I never knowed them. Uncle Muncie, he says they was no cop. He says that about most everybody, though. Uh Uh-huh. How about Mr. Big? How did you get him? Well, he come around one day about a year ago, looking all hungry and skinny, so I I gave him some food. He took to me right off, and I kept him. (laughs) Feed him scraps and stuff. Well, why did your uncle threaten to shoot him? Well, I... I expect mostly because Mr. Big jumped at him one day when Uncle Muncie was fixing to whip me. He'd have killed him right then, only when he went for his gun, I I took Mr. Big and we run off in the hills. Did your uncle go after you? No, sir. Me and Mr. Big, we we near starved out there. So we had to go back home. What happened then? Uncle Muncie, he tied Mr. Big to a tree and told me he was going to shoot him. Every day he told me that, and, and, him and him and Jeter would laugh at me when I start crying. So you came after me, huh? Yes, sir. I, I'd have took Mr. Big along with me, only I couldn't get him loose. I see. He don't like it none when he hears them coyotes. Yeah, I've noticed. When him and me run off in the hills that time... I was at Holland. I, I get scared some. But Mr. Big, he get up real close to me, and then everything would be all right. And Dusty, aren't there any neighbors around here? Someone you could have gone to? Mm, only the Thompsons. They got a place not far from here. Why didn't you go there? Uh, I, I don't know them very good. Just seen them once or so. Besides... Uncle Muncie would beat me good if I'd have done that. He don't like me talking to folks. Does your uncle beat you very often, Dusty? Yes, sir, most every day. I see. Mr. Palin, I I think you hear something besides coyotes. He's acting kind of funny. Mm, Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll take a look. Don't move, Paladin. What? There's two rifles pointed right at you. Uncle Muncie. Now, you just take off your gun belt and drop it by the fire there, Paladin. 
We'll do it. I told you that. No, Mr. Big, no! Get him, Pa! Mr. Big! Mr. Big! Why, you! Look out, boy! He's got a gun! <laughs> Good boy, Jeter. That ought to keep him still. Did you see that? He had a Derringer hit on him. Why, the you dirty laughs. You killed Mr. Big! I should have killed him a long time ago. You killed Mr. Now you shut up, kid. You shut up. You hear? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're going back home, boy, where you belong. Come on, Jeter, let's go. Should I put a bullet in Paladin? No. No, just leave him be. The coyotes will get him. Come on. It's no surprise to anybody that the attractive and inexpensive new radios have proved popular. It's no surprise, that is, to anyone who listens to CBS radio. With so much in the way of music, comedy, drama, variety, and news coming your way every day on CBS radio, more than one radio around the house is more than a convenience. It's almost a necessity for anyone who has a daily routine. The man of the house wants to come home to an attractive home and an attractive wife. But household chores in themselves are rarely inspirational. The smart homemaker is one who refuses to let her regular responsibilities get her down. She gets her work done every day, but she gets her entertainment in too. She has a radio in the kitchen as well as the living room. Chances are she has a portable radio as well to follow her from one task to another around the house. She knows why the inexpensive new radios are so popular, and she knows the value of CBS radio, too. He's coming around, Morgan. Mm. Get him some water, Kathleen. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Easy now, mister. Where? Who? Who are you? I'm Thompson. Morgan Thompson. 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 This is my wife. Somebody hit you awful hard, mister. Yeah. Well, how did you find me? We heard a shot. Went out looking, found you laying by a campfire. Uh, Here, Morgan. Yeah. You better drink this water, mister. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Mm. What's your name? Paladin. Mm. You know, we were afraid you'd fractured your skull at first, but well, it looks like you're going to be all right now. Uh, I've, uh, I've, I've got to get up. Uh, oh. uh, no, no, you no, just I... settle back. You're in no condition to be moving. No. I, I have to. You wouldn't I... get two steps. You're too weak. Uh, that's better. Hmm. What happened out there tonight? Yeah, who hit you on the head? Well, I I think they took Dusty, and I, I've got to get to him. Dusty? Yeah, he is Muncie's nephew. Muncie? Oh, you mean that old coot lives a mile or so down the road? That's right. A boy is his nephew. Of course. Oh, I know Morgan. Dusty must be that little boy we saw peeking through the trees at us that day. Remember? Yeah. Well, what's he got to do with all this? Well, I was taking him back to San Francisco. Muncie and his son, Jeter, had tried to stop us. How come you were taking him to San Francisco? Because I didn't like the way... the way Muncie and Jeter were treating the boy. They had him frightened half to death. How? They took pleasure in beating him and made him do most of the work around the place. Oh. Threatened to kill his dog, which they finally did. Oh, that's well, terrible. You mean they beat the boy? Yeah. He's had his share of whippings. 
Morgan, something ought to be done about that. Yeah, and he's in for another one. If I don't stop now, it now. Now, you just lie back there. Be you up, can't do any riding till morning. Yeah. yeah, I guess you're right. Here's one thing, though, mister. You're not going after that boy alone. I'm going with you. Feeling any better, Mr. Paladin? Ah, some. I want you to know I appreciate what you and your wife did for me, Mr. Thompson. Oh, you forget it. Anybody would have done the same. Oh, maybe. But I could have died out there. Yeah, looks to me like that's what Muncie and Jeter figured you'd do. I hope they haven't hurt that boy. Yeah, we'll soon know. That's the shack up ahead. Yeah. I don't see anybody. Uh, maybe it's too early for him to be up. Maybe. Yeah, um, hey, wait a minute. Oh, look there. Right. No, in, in the back. Come on. Come on, boy. Yeah. Come on, boy. Oh, no. All right, you hold it, Muncie. Keep your hands off that boy. Mr. Paladin! It's Paladin, Paul. I told you I should have put a bullet in him. I thought we fixed you last night, Paladin. You probably would have if Thompson here and his wife hadn't found me. Thompson? Uh, I thought I'd seen you somewhere before. That's right, Muncie. We're neighbors. And if I'd known how you've been treating this boy, I'd have been over here before now. Meddlers. You're all a bunch of stinking meddlers. Now, this boy's my kin, and I aim to do with him what I please. But not a beating, Muncie. Yes, a beating. He's been crying and carrying on about that cussed dog. All night he done that. And he's going to get a whipping for it. And you ain't going to stop me this time, Paladin. Jeter. Huh? Turn that boy loose. Now. All right. Ah, uh, Dusty, get on my horse. Yes, sir. Well, now, you got no right. This is my property, and that boy's my kin. We got a right, Muncie, when anybody treats a boy the way you treat him. He belongs here, and you ain't gonna take him. This whole thing is gonna be turned over to the law. No, no, you ain't taking him. Come on, Mr. Thompson. Mm -hmm. I'll kill you, Paladin! Ah, uh, you... done. You killed him. You killed Paul. You saw what happened, Jeter. I had to shoot him. You didn't have to. You didn't. What did you expect me to do? Let him shoot me in the back? I wished he had. It's all on account of that stinking little kid. He brung this on us. You're wrong, Jeter. You brought it on yourself. Get him out of here. And I'll never bring him back. You know, Jeter... I think that's the smartest thing you've said. It's just too bad your pa didn't say it a long time ago. Dave, about those trees you took down, I'd help cut them up for part of the wood. As soon as I feel better, Ed. What's wrong? Had an agging backache lately with sleepless nights. Feel tired out. Just the way I felt with backache. Better try to get relief. How? Try Doan's pills. Right. Doan's pills are an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headache, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains, may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pain-relieving action is often the answer and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable, with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Doan's Pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Doan's Pills today. To save money, buy Doan's Big Economy Size. <laughs> Oh, Miss Wong. Oh, hey, boy. Uh, 
Uh, you'll see Mr. Paladin. Oh, he tell Mr. Wong he's going out. Oh. oh. No, he has dinner engagement with young lady who's waiting for him in dining room. Oh. Hey, boy. Mr. Wong forget. Forget? What? Mr. Paladin tell Miss Wong to tell hey, boy, tell young lady he'll be late for dinner. He said he must go shopping. Whoa, oh. why he do that? He was talking of young boy. You remember one called Dusty? Oh, yeah. Uh, he come to harm Mr. Paladin many days ago. I remember. Oh. Look, hey, boy. Young lady not be angry after all. Mr. Paladin, come back. Oh, I saw. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Wong. Oh. Hey, boy. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Paladin, a uh, young lady waits for you, sir. Good. I'll join her in a few minutes, but uh, uh, first I want you to feed this gift I got for Dusty. Feed? Uh, gift? Not understand. Well, a part of Dusty's family is in this box here. Family, Mr. Paladin? The little box you carry? <laughs> That's right. Huh? Dusty and his new parents, Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, are coming here tomorrow, and I want, I want Dusty to have the rest of his family. Hey, boy, still not understand. Uh, maybe you show me what is in box, huh? Oh, all right, hey, boy, but be careful now. He, he's pretty ferocious. Uh, here. Oh, Mr. Look at that. Oh. And it's a little puppy. <laughs> oh, right, Miss Wong. And you know, it, it's marked. It's marked exactly like the dog Dusty used to own. Oh. I looked all over San Francisco before I found him. <laughs> oh, Miss Alphaladin. Little boy be very happy. I, I hope so, hey boy. I sure hope so. Pepsi-Cola refreshes without filling. Why? Because it's truly light. Charlie, you're forgetting something. Wait, Kay, there's more. Yes, ice-cold Pepsi is the delicious refreshment that goes great at a picnic or a party. But, Charlie... And Pepsi goes fast. People like it, so keep plenty handy. There. Oh, you did fine, except for one thing. Well, I mentioned lightness and how Pepsi refreshes and how fast it goes. You left out Pepsi sociability. You know the Be Sociable song. But, Kay, I can't sing. I can. Listen. Be sociable, look smart. Keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refreshing Pepsi. Stay young and fair and debonair. Be sociable, have a Pepsi. Well, at least I can say this. Pick up an extra carton of Pepsi today. Please do. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hey Boy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Sam Edwards, Bartlett Robinson, Shirley Mitchell, and Richard Beals. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel. <laughs> <laughs>